What's going on guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here and I am back with another super reaction. Okay? Yeah, I, that's all you get for the super. Sorry. Yeah. So we are here back again, man. Um not our Ippo, Ippo the fighting, Ippo rising, whatever you want to call it. Season 3 of Ippo. We continue today episode 14, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed that last one that we did, man. It was the fight. Um, very good fight. Great fight. Definitely top five in the anime. Definitely top five in the anime. Easily top five fight in the anime so far. Um, just because of what Ippo accomplished. It was hyped as hell. I couldn't be as hyped as I wanted to be because my back was killing me. <laughs> right so it was definitely dope to see man see Ippo grow so much um from doing this you know what i mean so um from evolving the dempsey role once again right once again evolving the dempsey role into something even better right so for me there is a huge limitation on this for use right thank god he didn't injure himself or you know go too far with it um he tore some ligaments while he was doing that so good the doctor checked him out and said he's you know thank god he didn't damage himself too much where you know he shortened his boxing life you know what i mean so that was pretty that was pretty cool at the ending there but this fight man this fight was so off the chain it was so off the chain and off the cuff three years like was he as bad as 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 Brian Hawk? No, he was not. He wasn't that bad. He was sinister. It was more of like a a craving for blood. You know what I'm saying? Like the the um You know what I'm saying? He craves fighting so much. You know what I mean? But it was dope, though, to see his character. The voice actor did a really good job. Um, definitely props out to whoever did that, man. That was It was great voice acting by that guy. He definitely hit the nail on the, e the head with the voice acting in for um, for Sour Moore. Yeah, Sour Moore, right? So definitely, man, um, Hippo, I mean... The first time he did the Dempsey roll, second time he did it, he was trying to stop and couldn't stop. And he got hit. He got hit. He took two counters, man, that rocked him. But he didn't go down, though. He didn't go down. So once he finally stopped, man, and hit him one time, put him down that first time, I was like, yeah, now we in business. Oh, yeah, now you realizing who you fight. Man, Ippo hit this guy. Yo, when Hippo hits people, man, and this is one of the things that I talked about at the end of the fight. If you guys know, bro, do you know how hard you have to get hit for your skull to fracture from a punch? Bro, Hippo is a freaking monster, man. He is a monster, bro sunken eye to hit a guy's eye and sink it in you know what i'm saying like it's crazy man what this guy when he hits his opponents like and i'm i'm the sound and i keep talking about the sound design in this anime like it fits man it fits they have the sound design down pat except for the freaking osts that they threw away from the first season that's one of the things like i i love to compare a lot of things to, to naruto because i think naruto um, I think Naruto have some of the best OSTs of all times. Okay, like d you hear those OSTs and they kept it through the original Naruto up to Shippuden. A lot of them. There were some new ones in Shippuden that was really, really good. But in that last fight, in that last fight, man, when they brought back the old stuff from the original Naruto. Oh boy, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I like about osts man you gotta keep them because if you grow up with it you know what i'm saying the old um in naruto you had da, 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 da. that one you hear that one you already know right what it's the winding down 
You get what I'm saying? Once you hear it, you hear it, whether it's slow, whether it's fast, you know it's the winding down. You know what I'm saying? You got the the the, the, the Orochimaru thing. A lot of OSTs, man. For even the character themes. I mean, Sasuke with the guitar, boy. Sasuke with that Western tune, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just great. Those callbacks are great. Because when you hear them, you know who's showing up. You know what I'm saying? So... That's one of the things that I don't understand about this anime. They don't understand that about OSTs. And it's, it's sad because it could have made that last sequence in this fight. If they have brought that OST back. If they brought that back, bro. Definitely, definitely it could have become a top three fight. Easily. Easily in the anime because the emotion that you would have felt the goosebumps that would have came when you heard that OST, it would have been, you know, it's game over. You know, it's game over. We all knew it was game over, but that OST would have just been the icing on the cake. You know what I'm saying? And you don't change those things. There are certain things that really, that you set the tone in season one of an anime that you just shouldn't change. I don't know I'm going to talk about this again. So Liz, we're going to jump in this super reaction, man. Thank you guys for watching. As always, man. See you guys um over on the Google Drive to watch the super reaction, man. This fight, last fight was awesome. I'm guessing we're going to get some slice of life episodes and then the setup for the next episode so definitely there's not going to be a fight in this um reaction but you know i'm watching every single episode so let's jump into it man episode 14 see you guys over there peace All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Terry by Reaction, and I'm back. Just finished watching Ippo. These three episodes are set up. That first episode was funny, um, and also them wanting to learn how Ippo gained that strength. Um, that Umazawa fight. I'm talking about Umazawa fight. It was a it was a fight in its own right. You know, him deciding to go and do and enter the contest with the fishing manga. Um, I don't know if that's a manga I would read, but hey, they look like they were enjoying it. So I'm happy for him. Um, that was the feels moment. You know what I'm saying? That episode really got to me. I teared up a little bit, um, because I know how important his character is to the series. Um, um, I would, as I've tried to explain, cause I did pause and I explained, so let me do it in a review too, just in case you guys decide not to watch the reaction. My view on this, on Umazawa's character is basically that if it wasn't for him, we would not have a Ippo series to watch. If he's one of the most integral characters because he bullied, if it wasn't for him, Ippo would have never met, he would have never met Takamura, he would have never fall, fell in love with boxing, so we would not even have a series, you know, this would be uh, Makanuchi's fishing boat manga if it wasn't for Humazawa, so we love the fact that he's that integral of a character to the series, and I'm happy that he's finally decided to move on, move forward, um, Hopefully we get to see him at Ippo's future matches as always. You know what I'm saying? So he's not working there anymore, but Itadaki has taken that mantle up of helping him and his sister has taken that mantle up. So definitely, definitely love that fact. Um, so in the next episode, we have all of them coming to figure out what's going on. They want to know how Ippo why is this so good? You know, why does it help him so much? So that was pretty dope. And then we got the announcement. Them competing on the boat was pretty. Yagi being the ultimate fisherman. Um, and then we got um, to understand. Um, we, we got to understand what's going on with the matches, the fighting, the fights that are coming up. Um, we all know Ippo has to rest. Um, we got Takamura's 
uh, middleweight title match. So he's not in junior middleweight anymore. He's now a middleweight. Uh, I'm surprised that he's still having weight issues because the weight control should be a little bit easier now for him, but it's the same damn thing, surprisingly. Um, but he's naturally, he's a heavyweight because that's what you guys are telling me, that naturally he's a heavyweight. So he still has to lose a lot to come down to middleweight. Um, so the unifying of the belt is something that happens all the time in real boxing. So I'm hoping that he can pull through this. This guy is not, no, he's not a joke. And as Ippo described him, um, Eagle dude, um, that he's, um, they call him the golden Eagle, right? Um, representing America, touche, ira irony, I see it. Anyways, so Ippo describing, his, uh, his describing him as a superhero was pretty dope. Um, Big G does come off. He's the complete opposite of Brian Hawk. Takamura beat him so bad, the dude has gone insane. Okay, he doesn't even want to hear Takamura's name. Like, it drives him nuts. It drives him nuts, bro. Like, mm, you got to get hit real hard. And we know how hard he got hit with all that talking he was doing. One of the best fights, of course. You guys know that it's top two all time for Hippo so far. Um, so, definitely. It's... it's I want to put... I want to say this fight and the and Ippo versus Sendo 2, the one for the title, those are the two top fights in Ippo so far. Um, I don't know. Date versus Ricardo was pretty good too. It's definitely in the top five for me. Um, so I definitely like those two fights are battling for number one. The Takamura versus Hawk and Ippo versus Sendo 2. Definitely the two top fights in the in the series so far so i'm definitely looking forward to more of ippo's fights man and talk more looking forward to this fight aoki and kimura's fight coming up that's i think these fights are going to be hilarious because these dudes that they're fighting against with these ridiculous hairstyles that they're going to have to cut their hair if they lose because of talk you know takamura is always clowning them so and then we have the Miata fight with, with that was an integral episode, um, interaction to what I was talking about from the last super reaction I did. I was talking about um, I would love to see the development of Takamura and Miata, Miata's relationship, because it seems like it's a deep relationship that they have. And Takamura explaining it a little bit, you know, like he looks at Ippo and Miata has his protégés, which is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? And he's like. If they're going to fight, I want both of them at their best going at each other. I don't want him to be flimsy and one has an advantage over the other just because he's at my gym. No, they're both my protégés, so I'm going to teach him what he needs to know to have more power against Ippo um, so that one little lesson corrected everything that, that Miata has been struggling with this whole time, bro. That's nuts you know what i mean like it's like you're swinging too wide when you throw your counters you need to tuck your harm in which is very true that is a very true statement when you're throwing a punch to keep your arms tucked in don't do don't swing one of your arms and then do that because when you swing wide like that you don't keep your arms tucked it diminishes your power. So that is something that I know for sure that is very true. So props out to the artist for really bringing that. I know the, the guy that wrote the manga, this series, I know that he's a real boxer. So he should know this stuff. So most of this stuff that you're seeing is not made up. You know what I'm saying? It's very true. Um, the training that they do is stuff that you can do in, in real life, except for the shit that Takamura is doing. That shit is ridiculous. Nobody should be doing that. You'll die. Don't try that shit at home. Um, so definitely, definitely, um, this, this, this reaction definitely gearing us up for the next fight, which is Takamura. Um, I, I think they're both fighting. I think all these fights are on the same night, ain't it? 
So we probably won't even get to Takamura's fight till the end of the season because I think they're all fighting, all four of them, Miyata, Aoki, Kimura, and Takamura with the world title match. It's going to be the last match, of course, the main event. So, wow, we got a long way to go before we see that fight. I don't know which episode it starts at, but I guess they're going to end the season with Takamura's fight because right now we're at episode 16. So, it very well might not start till like 1920. You know what I'm saying? Because each of these fights might get an episode. Maybe Miata's fight might get two episodes. So I don't know how it's going to play out. So, But they're all fighting on the same night. So, And they're a month away. So I guess we're going to get probably one more episode. Just slice of life. Just training. Leading up to the fight. Um, Miata seems like he wants in on these new moves stuff. You know, see how he improve. Just getting that little tip from Takamura let's see how this goes um you know so we're definitely looking forward to this fight man it's going to be um these fights they're going to be awesome definitely looking forward to Miata's and Takamura's fight not really interested in Aoki and Kimura's fight but I know that you know Aoki's going to bring the funny Kimura might get serious so I'm definitely looking forward to these fights um, thank you guys for watching as always, man, this, this series has yet to let me down. So I always look forward to doing these reactions, man. Thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, man. And remember to subscribe if this is your first time watching one of my reactions, man, even though it was long as hell. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and also leave a like on the video, comment, you know what to do. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and peace, as always, bye, thank you very much.